As a leader of this team, when you think about what you guys were able to accomplish this year, setting a foundation for the franchise, how proud are you of everything that happened? Um, you know, regardless of the ending and not being able to make the playoffs, like I couldn't be more happier with these guys. Um, bright future ahead. Really feel like we're moving in the right direction and, and we built a habit and a culture that's gonna be hard to crack. Was it easy for you to have this transition into being more of a voice, more of a leader um, compared to other stops along the way when you were maybe younger and uh, playing a bit more? Right, I, I wouldn't say easier. You know, something that I had to transition into. I'm a warrior, you know, a competitor always. So, you know, being able to find different ways to compete and to use my skill is uh, um, a thing I had to, you know, adapt to on this team. And uh, I liked it. I loved that role. and. Uh, like I said, I'm happy with our accomplishments. What do you think it was about the way you were able to lead that it seemed like whether it was a fellow young big like a Jalen or an Isaiah, but even really, especially before George got here, like the guards were talking about how impactful you were. What do you think it is about your leadership style that allowed you to mesh with all sorts of different guys, ages, positions? Um, I let them lead themselves for real. I throw out little, little words and little, you know, words of advice and things like that. But other than that, we just had a group of guys who had high character, worked hard, and really have a skill of basketball. So, you know, just get them out their own head for a second and then let them lead again. The franchise, you did a great job as a young leader. Miles Turner, great job as a young leader. And like I said, they're just building big, bigger base and um, a culture that's gonna be hard to crack. I was saying. This is a big year for Miles. He had discussed his desire to be the guy in the middle and he got that opportunity and he succeeded in it. What did you see from him from your perspective? Um, I saw just a dog, a, a, a guy who saw an opportunity and was uh, prepared for the opportunity and and never wavered off of um, his process. Every day doing the same thing, his consistency, um, his work ethic, and his constantly wanting to be a student of the game. Isaiah and Jalen were both in situations this year where their playing time uh, varied during the season. Um, what did you see from, I guess let's start with Isaiah, what did you see from him as, as a young player in his second year um, in these varying different roles? Um, very energetic, very bouncy, and like a, uh, another student of the game, someone who really wants to learn and sometimes learn too much to a fault where he can get in his own head and think about things that he's been working on and accomplishing. but. As far as um, character goes and wanting to get better, you can see that he, he watches Miles very close and he understands that he has to play behind Miles and give Miles his breather, especially when Miles is on a tail like he was this year. So, you know, for them, it's just learning and, and understanding patience and and being consistent, just like how Miles is. I'm sure you know as well as everyone just how important opportunity is and getting in the right situation. And uh, while Jalen Smith's role changed a little bit throughout the year, do you feel like this is a great example? A guy like him who has uh, gotten more playing time and in general has shown what he can do? In a way, you know, he came in as a four and was playing the four very well, doing, doing his job. And for the team, it just wasn't looking like, you know, that's the four kind we needed. But when we moved him to the five, there was no complaining. There was no anything. It was just, all right, what does this guy do on this play? Or what does the five man do on this? Or and he went from, if we run a switch, everybody went from switching everybody to everybody switched except for him. So, you know, it's just, you get put in predicaments and as long as you really have a full like heart about that and you can be vulnerable about it. I feel like you can play any position as long as you, you like give yourself to the team. I know outside expectations vary significantly from expectations inside this building, but why do you feel like the Pacers this year were able to exceed what everybody else thought outside here of the St. Vincent Center? Um, Cause we had belief in practice locker room and in game locker rooms. We believed in ourselves. For you, at this stage of your career, what does the off season look like? What do your preparations look like? Are you kind of on a on a year to year basis with how you handle things? I mean, like I said, I, I'm gonna do everything that I would normally do. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna stay in shape. I'm gonna eat my food. I'm gonna golf a lot, you know. And uh, hopefully, I can get back here. You know, no one, no one knows for certain um, the future, but you know, I really love to hear, and I, I'd be more than happy to come back. When you talk about no one knows the future, do you ever think back to those days uh, a few years ago in Dallas and think just how you never maybe could have guessed that those moments would lead you here back with Rick and in a leadership role? Um, nah, but 
I don't I don't burn bridges, even though I know how to swim, you know? I just, I'm me everywhere I go, and like it or not, I'm unapologetic about it. And uh, something about that Rick liked. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, uh, being back with him and him giving me a chance to come in on a non-guaranteed contract uh, meant the world. As you said, you hope to be a part of what this franchise continues to build as you project forward, as you look at what this team with this franchise is capable of, what do you see? Um, I see back to that conference finals, back to them, the final pushes, back to that in the beginning of the year when before we go to our first day of training camp and we put our goals as champions, it's not going to be as far-fetched as what people think.